winner of the Vuelta a España, winner of the Giro d'Italia, what has happened to Nairo Quintana? Now, we're going to go back in time, we're going to go back to the 2022 Tour de France. Now, Nairo Quintana was going well, he actually managed to finish in the top 10 overall, uh, finishing in 6th. Uh, and he actually did pretty well on some stages, including the Col de Grenoble, where he came second to Jonas Vingegaard. Now, all was going well. He was preparing for the Vuelta España, and then suddenly something happened. He got done for Tramadol. Now, there were two times when he got done for Tramadol. Uh, one on the 8th of July, which if we look at that, that was super planche de Belfi, one of the hardest mountaintop finishes in the first week of the Tour de France. Uh, Vingegaard and Pogaccia put time into a lot of people and he finished 15th on the stage. The second uh, anti-doping violation for Tramadol was on the 13th of July, which again was a really important stage up to the Col de Grenon, where Vingegaard put time into everyone and Nari Quintana actually put time into a lot of other people, including Tade Pogaccia. So this news broke around October, I believe it was. Uh, it got, it was, uh, sorry, this was published on uh, 17th of August. So it's actually quite soon after that he got done for tramadol now what is tramadol you might be asking now tramadol is an opioid like painkiller uh it's very popular in cycling back in the day uh it obviously numbs pain it's easier to go harder so the question is why would naira quintana be taking something that's so obviously banned and that they have such an obvious test for now there's two theories there's theories that the test isn't great because it uses or that he just doesn't have many brains or the third option is that he took a blood bag uh, which had tramadol from training. Now, obviously, this is all wild speculation. No one knows the answer. Naira Quintana contested this straight away. He took it to the Court of Arbitration of Sport, and in that ruling, which did occur, which came back in October, Naira Quintana was found guilty. So, what does this mean? Naira Quintana then left Arkea Samsic, so he said the contract was uh, annulled. I believe this is because Arkea are part of the MPCC, uh, which doesn't allow people to take basically have anti-doping violations and still ride for the team. After this, Nairo Quintana then got linked to a lot of different teams, mainly French teams, Azure Dezer, FDJ or Cofidis. Now this seemed odd to me, mainly because the French teams are generally very anti-doping, a lot more than other nationalities. And so I thought it would be a wild one that he would go there. But we move on, there was more time. Nairo Quintana, he could have contested in the welter. Instead, he didn't want to do that because technically he was banned. He wanted to instead go to the court of arbitration and sport. He doesn't have a contract, it's October, and he hasn't had any results since the tour. So time is ticking. And this is bad news for Nairo Quintana because on the 3rd of, October, 3rd of November, it was actually Cass then said, yeah, you're done. Ciao, ciao, that's it. Um, so you're going to have a ban. Uh, your results are going to be disqualified, but because it's not UCI, because it, it's a UCI rule, not a WADA rule, it's all kind of weird. But anyway, that's confirmed. So 3rd of November, he's done um, after getting kicked off Arkea a month earlier. Um, we now go and go on to more rumours. Now, Eric Quintana was linked to Wanted Group Gobert, and he was also linked to EF Education first, but still nothing. Naira Quintana was incredibly confident. He'd never seemed to have any doubt that he was going to go into retirement. Medellin EPM, who signed Miguel Angel Lopez, who also got done for a, a doping violation, they then tried to sign him as well. So at this point, we're in January. Quintana doesn't have a team. It's the new year. He's been offered a Conti spot at um, Medellin, which is, you know, decent, but like way below what he should be riding at. Same with Miguel Angel Lopez. He says no. He says, no stress. I've got a contract. It's all okay. There were then wild rumours. Quintana followed Coratec on Twitter, uh, on Instagram, sorry. Coratec got an invitation to the Giro d'Italia and everyone said, okay, Nairo to Coratec, 100% guaranteed. Nairo to Coratec? No, it doesn't happen. We then got Nairo to Bahrain. Now, this was interesting because Nairo, man, apparently this was very much going to happen. Nairo to Bahrain, no stress. Nairo to Bahrain, doesn't happen. Apparently they leaked it to the press and he didn't like that. We get, now get to about 16, about the early February, late January. And what happens? Nairo Quintana, people saying he's going to retire. People say, yes, it, he doesn't have a team. Nairo Quintana, ciao, ciao, never going to happen. But no, Nairo then does a press conference. He says, nope, I'm not retiring. I've still got a team, no stress. It's like, Nairo, you don't have a team. Everyone knows you don't have a team, but he still, he still says, I don't have a team. Next, we see him riding a BMC, a yellow BMC. Who's sponsored by BMC in the World Tour? Uh, it's Azure Dessert. But it's not their colours. It's not Campy, it's Shimano. Okay, I don't think it's them. So then we go, okay, why is he riding a yellow BMC? He then comes out and says he's going to ride the Colombian National Championships as a privateer. 
Um, I think he, he didn't have a team. I'm not sure how the Colombian national championships work exactly, but there was some sort of like technicality to get in as privateer. Nari Quintana had obviously been training really hard. He had been riding his canyon before from Arkea. He looked like in decent condition. Switched over to the BMC. And yeah, he did really well. He got third, um, which was his, like, I guess a really good result for him uh, behind Miguel Angel Lopez and Esteban Chavez. Sorry, Dermi Martinez and Esteban Chavez. So we're now mid-February. Nari Quintana, third in the national champs. And then suddenly he's linked to more French teams. This time it's FDJ or Arkea return. FDJ, why would he sign there? It doesn't make any sense. Marc Madio, I can't imagine him signing him. They've got Goudou, they've got Pinos last year, they've got Demar, they've got loads of really good young, talented riders that they signed from their development team. So why would they sign Niederman? And this is the question that I think everyone has. It's like, who would sign him? You go through team after team after team. Who wants to sign someone who's had a positive uh, test for Tramadol? Not that many people. Is there some racism towards Colombian riders not wanting them? I think there is some, some kind of discrimination because it seems kind of wild that other people do way worse stuff. Like ban for EPO, ballot, no stress gets done. Oh, sorry, here we got done for a blood uh, anti-doping violation. But you know what I mean? People get done for big stuff. No stress, straight back to World Tour. So I think there is some discrimination towards Nano Man. But at the same time, I don't think he helped himself by going to the World not going to the World and and uh, fighting in Cass. I think Cass, it's often easy to win because the burden of proof is less. There's there's certain exceptions, but nonetheless, it was an unbelievably wise, uh, brave move from Nairo Man and probably not the wisest in hindsight. So what's going to happen to Nairo? I think he still might sign for Bahrain. Um, you know, they might sign him up. But at this rate, I mean, what's he going to do? Train this whole year and not have a team? Or is he going to swallow his pride, join Medellin and then, you know, hop around the, U the European Conti scene? Uh, maybe they do some Asian races as well. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, that's that's the update with Naira Man. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you've got any more questions about Naira Man or want me to do this with any other sort of characters in the sport, uh, let me know. Cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.